Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> yeah, welcome to Roverland channel where we do everything and anything Land Rover. So I'm uh, in the process of uh, kind of moving some of my uh, obscure things in my collection to my new location. And I came across a box of books that I have. So let's take a look at these books today, all right? Sit back and uh, grab a hot one or a cold one, wherever you are, all right? Here we go. All righty, here we are over on the desk now. We're going to take a look at uh, some books. All right, first one up. Well, let's see if we can do this without a whole bunch of glare because these are... Uh, these are fancy books. <laughs> All right. So the first one I have here is uh, Full Throttle. It um, was a it's a kids book. I found this in the the library, and uh, just uh, it's just a book about uh, you know uh, different vehicles, and uh, they happen to do one about uh, Land Rovers. Uh, I found it in the library. I had to look it up, and then I bought it. Oh, uh, Barnes and Nobles. Yeah, I bought a Barnes and Nobles. Let's see. Uh, 09. Yeah, 09. <laughs> so uh, I'm always looking for anything and everything Land Rover. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty neat book. I thought it was pretty educational. So I had to get one of those. So yeah, if you uh, want more information about these books right away, you know, uh, and you don't catch the title or the name, you know, just let me know, and uh, I'll get, uh, I'll see if I can answer it. Just uh, comment down below, and we'll get, we'll get you some information. Here's a old classic. I think a couple of you folks already own is uh, Land Rover British Four Wheel Drive from 1948. Good classic. This guy Chris, he uh, has put out quite a few books, and uh, just a nice, good book. A lot of color pictures. I like pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was one of my favorite uh, pictures right there. I always wanted to do that with my Land Rover in the snow with my babe. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just, uh, oh, yeah, this has got a neat section on uh, Camel Trophy. If you guys are into Camel Trophy, really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. So that's another book. Here's another one from uh, Chris. That's another good book, Land Rover. Got, I think this one is more about uh, all the different vehicles. Well, there's another good picture of that. Yeah. But uh, really a cool, cool looking book there. If you like if you like Land Rovers, you like reading anything and everything about Land Rovers. That's right. All right. Land Rover, the official, the original 4x4. John uh, Tipler. Very good. This is a hardcover here. Very nice. Oh, I got a stamp too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, more black and white pictures here. Uh, very cool, very cool. You got the middle sections, got some nice color photos in there. Oh, there's a beauty right there. Yeah, it's the truck I fell in love with right there. Yep, so that's another cool book. I'd recommend that one. Yeah, cool book, cool book. All right, the, another guy that's always uh, writing books or has in the past is uh, Nick nimbly nimbly i would say um i think this is one of the latest ones that i picked up uh but uh really kind of cool he's a land rover guy i believe he's from canada and he's got a rare uh what is it 110 pickup 130 pickup i can't remember but there's a little thing about him that's kind of cool but uh yeah yeah so nice little hardcover can't beat that Got a picture of a Jeep on there, too, just so you, you know, can have a reference there. <laughs> Here's another little book. This is another little hard book. A little book of Land Rovers. There you go. Steven, I can't, uh, Vulcan? Yeah, for, oh, that's just the forward by him. But, uh, cool little book. Nice little hard, to, uh, hard cover. But, uh, just a neat book. I Like I say, I love... I love anything and everything Land Rover, that's for sure. Oh, look at that Discovery. Nice. Got some really nice pictures in this one. So, uh, hey, this guy here, we talked about that. Where was that railroad one at? Oh, man. 
Now I got all flustered here talking about it. We're gonna probably gonna probably run out of time with all my little fooling around. But uh, yeah, just a cool book. But yeah, see if you can get these on Amazon or you know uh, Barnes and Noble. Uh, I don't know eBay even. I don't know. Yeah, Nigel Frylet. Fry Fryet. Uh, this is kind of just a four-wheel drive book, but uh, it's got a lot of Land Rovers and kind of. This is kind of neat because it kind of gives you some ideas of some other uh, vehicles that are out there in the four-wheel drive, uh, you know, uh, market. There, the old Su Subaru Suzuki Samurai, all upside down. That's pretty fun stuff. But uh, yeah, well, yeah, if you keep it all on uh, four wheels, yeah. So that's another good book, you know, if you're into off-roading, which I was back in the day, or I could be in the future again, that would be fine. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> All right, here's another one. The Ultimate Homemade 4x4 for Recreation, Re Recreation, <laughs> Recreation, <laughs> Recreation <laughs> and Motorsports, Hybrid Land Rovers. Yeah, Alan and Tony, but uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yep, so, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Oh, that's the uh, boiler, boiler specials. Yeah, those are kind of cool. You know, there's a matchbox that kind of looks like a boiler. I don't collect that one, but, uh, boy, it sure looks like that. <laughs> well, there you go. That's another, another cool book that uh, I've got in my collection. Here is another one. This is like one of my first ones that I ever bought was this one here, James Taylor. If you guys don't know him, he's kind of a, uh, I think he's still around. I hope he's still around. He uh, was, uh, boy, just a, a, like the grandfather of literature. Uh, he was a writer and a publisher and, uh, you know, for a couple of UK magazines, I believe. And uh, just, just really good guy, all around knowledge. I mean, uh, as far as I remember, just off the cuff here, he had articles, and I mean, he has, he's been a Land Rover guy from all way back, but uh, another good book there if you want to, uh, you know, learn, learn about the uh, Land Rovers. Uh, this one specializes 1948 to 1988, uh, more or less uh, UK, not really the States, but uh, very interesting. Here's another one about... Uh, off-road uh, recovery techniques. It's pretty neat. They got a lot of good uh, uh, techniques and things. Nick Cole, he's another, uh, I think he's another Canadian, I think. And uh, pardon me if I, I hope I didn't insult you if you're not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, just kind of really neat kind of how to use different uh, things and, and uh, techniques for uh, off-roading. Uh, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, this one here is kind of uh, way <laughs> far away, but um, this is a kid's sticker book, and it's got uh, a Land Rover in there, and uh, maybe we could focus someday on it. But uh, but yeah, it's kind of kind of cool. They they go in through all kinds of different uh, things, but it's got a cool picture of a Land Rover and tells you all the different stuff. This is just a little kid's book, you know. Uh, and I, I came across it. I think one of my kids, uh, had a book fair and they had it in there and I'm like, all right, I'll buy this one. It's got a Land Rover. In it. <laughs> so that, that one's kind of a really kind of quirky one there. Here's one that I really enjoyed. This is just a, a book. My Life in Dangerous Places, The Adventurist. Okay. So, uh, Robert Young Pel Pelton, uh, he's, uh, He's a really cool guy, but he is uh, 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 an American, and he participated in uh, uh, several uh, camel trophies. And uh, I, I don't know exactly what what year. There he is, a young picture of him and his uh, kids. But uh, I'm not really sure what years he uh, did that in. But this is just a, a, a good read. He's quite an author. Uh, and uh, stuff like that, and an adventurer. He's uh, quite an adventurer. So if you want a good uh, story about uh, a guy's 
Adventurer's Life and uh, Camel Trophy, check this book out. Boy, we are not going to focus today, are we? I tell you, I don't know what to say. There we go. Now we got it. Oh, yeah. There we are. A lot better. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I got another one. I know I got another one here. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Nope. That's not it. Here's a book that I've got. <laughs> I'm just kind of randomly pulling these out. Uh, I owned a Discovery one time. Yeah. And, uh, I think this one I had to, uh, trash because I rolled it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is kind of the old, uh, service book, you know, the, the owner's manual book and, uh, kind of really kind of neat, you know, just kind of see and have, uh, you know, the, um, uh, you know, stuff to that. And, uh, there you go. That's a, that's really kind of cool to have a part of, uh, that kind of history there, you know, but, uh, let's see what else I got. I got, I got more books. Hold on. Hold on, I got more books. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Uh, pretty neat. Land Rover. James Taylor again. Yeah, like I say, he's uh, he's quite of, uh, yeah. Whoa, let's see, where did, I, where did I buy this one from? The Book Bog. Oh, yeah, they ordered this at an old store that's uh, not anymore in uh, Toma, town next to me there. Yeah, they're out of business. I wonder if that's got a date on it. Yeah. Uh, 3 2 2011. There you go. All right. Yeah. So that's kind of a neat book. Little neat book. Uh, you just saw a little paperback. Got some nice pictures in it there. Can't beat that, huh? Yeah. Kind of neat. Whoa, look at that old bog. I, hey, I'd like to build a kit model of this or scratch build one with a matchbox or something there. Oh, a nice little paper back there. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. What else do we got here? All right. This is, uh, I do have, uh, a whole series of, uh, um, cause I owned a couple of, uh, series vehicles as well. And so I have some, uh, you know, basic, uh, restoration, uh, guides. And then I have, do have some workshop manuals. I think I got some copies or duplicates too. But uh, that's a whole nother story. But this is a good book here. Just kind of getting, uh, you know, if you're uh, just starting out and you want to learn a little bit about it. But, the, you know, it's got history and buying and, you know. But uh, Haynes, we all know Haynes. That's a pretty, pretty interesting book there. Um, yeah. So, uh, Restoration Manual. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's another one we got. Uh, Land Rover. Conversions and Applications since... 1998 pretty cool stuff going on there i tell you that's uh can't get uh, any cooler than that you know talking about different uh variations and uh customs that were the world's most versatile vehicle at work richard the rose i believe <laughs> but uh is that the uh rover extender i don't know i don't know that one yeah, but anyway, very cool. Not a lot of uh, colored pictures, but, uh, you know, that's all right. We all know what color Land Rover should be. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just kind of a very interesting book there just to let you kind of see how versatile the old Land Rover could be. Uh, it's a lot of uh, series and defenders in there, not too many other uh, vehicles. All right, so that's a nice little paperback. Here's another one, the Land Rover story. James Taylor, like I say, oh yeah, he was a, a big part of the uh, Land Rover. Um, oh, what did they all stand for? Oh man, now I, I drew a blank, but I, I was subscribed. Uh, I subscribed to that. Oh man, now I can't I can't believe it. I, I'm drawing a blank. Land Rover owners. Land Rover Owners Mag, yeah, Land Rover Owners Mag Magazine, Land Rover Owners Magazine. I can spit it out. I can really. <laughs> All right, so this is part one. I don't think I have part two, but this 1948 to 1971, uh, very you know big big book. They call that what an A1 size book, but uh, really kind of cool. Goes into some more of the uh, the Land Rover story and how it was. Uh, birth and you know the uh 
different variations and stuff like that. And so really, really kind of cool uh, book again, if you want to just a uh, nice, gener nice, uh, nice read at night, you know? So cool book, cool book. James, James Taylor then. All right. What else do we got here? Land Rover. Yeah. Another James Taylor book. Like I say, that guy was into publishing. Love that picture. That's an awesome picture there. Yep. So just another book, uh, just, uh, deeply interesting. There you go. There you go. Really kind of cool. Old forward control there. 101. Yep. Very neat. Oh, I love, I love these charts like this. This is kind of cool. I love it. I would like to make a couple of posters of those and hang them up in my Land Rover room. Really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. It's just a uh, lot of neat stuff. A lot of neat stuff. Yeah. So yeah, let me know down below. Do you have uh, uh, a Land Rover book collection? Uh, you know, let me know. What do you got? Do you, are you interested in stuff like that? You know, um, or is it just, you know, the real car you drive or, or your toy collection? Here's a uh, Land Rover restoration tips and techniques. Yeah. Like I say, I had a, uh, 69. I wish I had her back, but had to sell her down the road, but I had a 69, which happens to be the year I was, I was born as well. Series two A. It was, uh, it was, uh, what did it have? It had the, uh, deluxe bonnet on the hood. It was the, uh, oh, what, what color? The pea green blue color. But, uh, this is kind of really kind of neat, you know, kind of gives you an idea. Uh, yeah, dropping in a V8. Whoa, never got that crazy. <laughs> Wish it would have, but, uh, yeah, another, another cool truck book. Um, so yeah, check that one out. Another James, James Taylor book, I believe. Oh, now I got to look. Whoa, knocking on the, no, nope, he was compiled by Richard Green. You like that stamp, don't you? You're catching your eye. Uh, what do we got here? Heritage Motor Center. Uh, not really a Land Rover book, but I bet you there's one in here. That's why I got it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Section on Land Rover. Must have picked this up at a decent price to, to have it. But, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, that's all they dedicated to that. I wonder if they did, uh, Range Rover as well. Let's see if they did a Range Rover. No, nope. no, I don't think so. Well, there you go. You got just the Land Rovers, uh, spotlighted in that one. That's, that's all right. We'll take that. <laughs> all right. Next up we have Land Rover 90. And 110 Defender Gold Portfolio. Yeah, 1983 to 1994. Yeah, really cool, real cool, uh, really cool book. This is another one of those, you know, gives you an idea of uh, the growth and, and a lot of legit numbers and charts and graphs and um, different uh, magazine articles that they've put in there oh remember that one that's the classic right there there you go yeah beautiful another great book another great book i like that one all right i think we're getting down there all right what do we got next oh borders 10 percent off discount i wonder if i did get that <laughs> simply the best there you go martin hotter land rover yeah, hardcover book, this one. Very nice. There's Hugh. Yeah, all right. Hugh's on the back. <laughs> There's that sticker again. <laughs> there we go. Really kind of a nice new, nice book. Got, uh, you know, colored as well as, uh, you know, black and white as colored speckled in through there. Just kind of cool. Hey, this guy here, he's a nut. Call him Dave, Dave Mitchell. Um... Not to be confused with Dan Winchell, your friend Dano, but <laughs> I'd like to get a hold of this guy and see if we could do some uh, trading the models or selling the models or something here in the U.S. So he's U.K. based. Yeah, there it is. Camel Trophy, Ultimate Test. Really cool stuff there. But uh, yeah, still a Camel Trophy. 
Freelander. <laughs> All right, so that's that's another cool book. I like that one. Here's one that I used quite a bit when I uh, had my uh, uh, discoveries. This is the Land Rover Discovery. Uh, Haynes Repair Manual, Service and Repair Manual. I use this quite a bit uh, to help me out in, uh, oh, look at this. Look at this. That's from Glendale. That was uh, in uh, the Milwaukee area. They were, uh, sent me a thing there. Yeah, pretty cool. Save that. Nice, nice Range Rover on there. Ah, uh, but yeah, so a repair manual. And I use that quite a bit in my uh, fixing up of my Land Rover and stuff like that. I got some papers here, uh, buying parts and stuff like that. Pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, can't beat that. Oh, let's see. I got a couple more here. Get to, uh, get to the bottom of my box here. Here's the original Range Rover. Yeah. This is, I'd love... I would just love that right now, if I was going to buy another Land Rover, this would be one of the ones that I would buy right now. Uh, Two-door Range Rover, 1970s to 1986. We did not really get those, James Taylor again and Nick. Uh, we did not really get those here in the United States. Now, uh, north of us in Canada, they got the uh, two doors, I believe. Um, and, of course, they're in the U.K., you know, obviously. But uh, look at the front end of that one. But that's what I would like to have right now. Just an old bugger without a lot of the uh, electronics and stuff like that in it. But uh, still a classic Range Rover. Just a beauty. Just a beauty. I wonder if I can get another picture of uh, the exterior of this baby. Interior trim. Yeah, just look at that. Oh, I'd love to. Love, I'd love to have that. So that that's my, one of my goals here in the future for myself. Transmission, just a whole bunch of cool stuff. Cool stuff. Do I got one more here? I think I got one more here. Oh boy, there's a. No, I got a couple more. <laughs> All right, here's the original Land Rover Series One. This is one of my first books that I ever bought. Was one of this uh, hardcover. That last one was hardcover. Now this is a series here. Uh, by these boys and uh, really kind of really kind of neat um, that but I think that's the only two that I've got uh, from this series but uh, this is taken care of series one 1948 to 1958 just another good good book if you want to do some referencing and uh, you know what's going on and learning your history of Land Rover starting from the beginning this is one I just love. I would love to make a, a matchbox or a Hot Wheels into one of these. Yeah, I've got enough pictures here to, to make some pretty good details in 164 scale. But uh, yeah, just, just awesome. Just awesome book. I really like that one. That one was one of my favorites, one of my first. Um, here you go. This is another hard hardcover. Land Rover, the unbeatable 4x4. Yeah, fourth edition. I, I just, I don't have a first edition. Oh, these are beautiful. I love these kind of uh, cutaways here. Oh, I'd love to get those in every model and put them up on the wall. Oh, I'd love it. But uh, yeah, just a Kobo wagon. What is that called? Kobo, <laughs> uh, Kuth, Kuthenberg. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's got a section of uh, colored photos in the in the middle of it. And uh, just, yeah. Yeah, just another great book if you want to learn uh, about Land Rovers. Just awesome. Just awesome. Uh, like I say, oh, there's the Range Rover on the back. Two-door. Oh, I just love that stuff. Yeah, there you go. So another hardcover there. Okay, now we're getting down to the bottom here. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? This is uh, Land Rover Discovery, uh, MRP Auto Guide. I don't know who that is. But uh, there you go, 89 to 98. Now, the, if I was going to get a uh, James Taylor, if I was going to get another Discovery, I'd like to uh, get the uh, two-door 
discovery right there. That's what I'd, I'd like to get one of those. That would be really kind of neat. Um, what uh, Barnes and Noble again? Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Two thousand one. Yeah. So there you go. Another nice book there. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Some nice pictures and uh, you know letting you know some details there and stuff like that. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, another book here. This is one of my latest books that um, I got from a dear friend of mine, Paulie. Hats off to you, Paulie. He's from Ireland. He comes over to Wisconsin uh, every year or so. And he, uh, well, with my other part-time job, yeah, I got a part-time job at a radio station. <laughs> hey, if you want to know more about Dano's part-time job, uh, put a comment down below and I'll tell you more. But anyway, he knows I'm a Land Rover nut. Uh, they've got Land Rovers in Ireland, and he sent me this one, and uh, just uh, really cool. Yeah, this one, we had a discussion about this one on Facebook, about how that wasn't really a, uh official Land Rover <laughs> uh, release, but they uh, made it. Oh, the old lightweight. But anyway, yeah, just a cool book. Thank you very much, Paul. I owe that guy so much. He's so, he's so cool. Uh, but anyway, very good, very good read. Ben... Uh, check that book out. That's a pretty good book too. All right. And then this is one of my favorite books. Um, vehicle dependent Exp expedition guide, very heavy, very heavy, uh, hard covered book. I always wanted to, when I was in the Land Rovers and a young man, I always wanted to do exploration, vehicle based explorations. Um, that was one of my goals and I, I don't know, I suppose I could still, Still do it my old age, but uh, this book tells you everything and anything you need to know pretty much about, um, ex, you know, uh, vehicle-based exploration. Yeah, uh, it's just awesome. It's a awesome book. Not really a Land Rover book, but uh, they use a lot of Land Rovers in, uh, in the book and a lot of pictures, so that's kind of cool. Tom Shepard, yeah, very... Uh, yeah, see, it is uh, published in in association with Land Rover, though. Heavy book. I think this is kind of a spendy book, but uh, well worth it. I mean, you're it's a big old honking book. All right, so uh, that's about it for my book collection uh, of Land Rovers. This is a good uh, book to <laughs> one of my favorite movies, Black Hawk Down. That's a good book to read. Matter of fact, I think that's required reading for. Uh, some of the military uh, schooling now, but uh, one of my favorite movies. But anyway, that's a side note. <laughs> there you go. All righty, so there you go, everybody. Uh, just a little glimpse of my collection. This kind of rambled right along there. But uh, yeah, if you got a book uh, that you want to get rid of, hey, I'd be interested in it. Yeah, let me know. Shipping's not too bad for a book. But uh, yeah, cool. Let me know what you got in the comments below and uh, always join me on facebook and on uh, instagram that's uh down below in the description so cool beans <laughs> all right that's gonna be it for today there kids and folks and guys and gals and well all my land rover friends this is your friend dano remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day